Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture in the computer network series. Today we will see the part 1 of the OSI reference model. We will see the outcomes of today's session. Upon the completion of this session, the learner will be able to understand the OSI reference model. We will list various layers in the OSI reference model and we will understand how each layers interact with other layers. Before we start, we will see what is layering again. Layering means decomposing the problem of building a computer network into more manageable components and we call these manageable components as layers. So the problem of building a computer network, it is a big one. So we are decomposing that into smaller ones which we call as layers. We have two benefits. One, it provides modular design and number two, it is easy to troubleshoot. Now we will move on to the purpose of the OSI reference model. The purpose of the OSI model is to facilitate communication between two systems. When I say two systems, it means two different systems without requiring changes to the logic of the underlying hardware and software. I will elaborate it now. We are going to establish communication between two different systems. Two different systems means two different computers with two different operating systems, even two different devices with two different functionalities. So, in terms of hardware also they may be different, in terms of software also they may be different. So two different systems are going to communicate with each other with the help of or with the guidelines provided by the OSI model so that we don't require any changes to the logic of the underlying hardware and software. Now we will see what are the various layers in the OSI reference model. Basically there are seven layers in the OSI reference model. Application layer, presentation layer, Session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer and physical layer. As far as OSI reference model is concerned, the order of the layers are very important. So we should not change the order of the layers. It is a very important question for your examinations also. So the order of the layers is very important. So how to remember the layers without changing the orders? I will just provide you a shortcut now. Just note this sentence. Please do not throw sausage pizza away. P for physical layer, D for data link layer, N for network layer, T for transport layer, S for session layer, P for presentation layer and A for application layer. When we remember this sentence, we can easily remember this layer, the order of the layers without changing it. There may be a small confusion only. There are two P's, P here and P here. So the last one is always physical layer. Always remember this, the last one is the physical layer. Now we will see how each layer interact with other layers. In this scenario, there are two devices, device A and device B. And these two devices are connected to a network and there are some intermediary nodes that this is a router and this is also a router. And when the data wants to move from this computer to this computer, so the data whatever this computer is generating has to be placed on this line or this cable. So before placing on this cable, so it has to go through all these seven layers and finally this physical layer only places the data on the cable. The user who is sitting at this place will open an application and that application only is going to generate the data. The data generated by the application layer is handed over to the presentation layer and then presentation layer hands over the data to the session layer. Then comes the very important layer, the transport layer. And then the data is handed over to the transport layer. After transport layer, the data is then handed over to the network layer. Then it is given to the data link layer. Then finally it goes to the physical layer. If you observe, each layer has its own set of functionalities. In today's session, we are not going to deal with the set of functionalities of each layer. The main focus of today's lecture is to remember the OSI reference model and its layer. And these intermediary nodes will process the data pertaining to only three layers that is physical layer, data link layer, network layer because we don't want the application data to be accessed by the routers. If someone does that, then obviously he is an attacker or a bad guy. So we don't want any intermediary node to access application layer data. So always remember the intermediary node will focus only on physical layer, data link layer and network layer. And finally, whatever the data is received, it will be given to the physical layer, then it is given to the data link layer 
network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer and application layer. The data generated by the device or the source computer will be from layer 7 to layer 1. Upon reception of the data, the data will be processed from layer 1 to layer 7. Always remember layer 1 means it is physical layer, layer 2 means data link layer, layer 3 means network layer, layer 4 means transport layer, 5 session layer, 6 presentation layer and layer 7 application layer. And always there will be an interaction between the adjacent layers that is presentation layer is going to interact with this application layer. And this presentation layer can also interact with session layer because if this is the sender it should go like this like from 7 to 1. But if this is the receiver, it takes the data from 1 to 7. So always there will be an interaction between the adjacent layers. Example, transport layer can interact with network layer as well as to the session layer. So this is how the interaction is made. Now we will see how the syllabus is framed. Chapter 1 deals with the fundamentals and the fundamentals and the physical layer. So this is chapter 1. And chapter 2 deals with the data link layer. So this is the data link layer. Chapter 3 deals with the network layer and this is the network layer. Chapter 4 transport layer and chapter 5 it's application layer. So I have combined all these three things into a single layer called application layer for framing the syllabi. And finally talking about the security. So layer 1 is addressed first. Layer 2 is addressed second. So this is the bottom up approach. So firstly in this computer networking course we will be dealing with the physical layer. Then we'll be going to the data link layer, then network layer, then transport layer and finally the application layer and the security. And that is why in the syllabus it is mentioned as bottom up approach. Now there is an activity for you. We are required to identify the correct order of the OSA layering in the following. So four options are given. Option A, Option B, Option C and Option D. So we are required to find which is the correct one in the following. Use the shortcut which is provided by me to remember the layers. With the help of that shortcut, you can easily identify which is the correct one. Pause this video for a while and post your answer in the comment section. And that's it guys. I hope now you understood what is OSA reference model. I hope now you will be able to list various layers of the OSA reference model in the correct order. And we know how each layers interact with other layers. I hope this session is informative. And thank you for watching.